at the just concluded Governor's Cup, winner and defending champion Andre Pavic, after defeating his higher ranked second seed Jeevan Neduch of India in straight sets, said that the reason that Nigerian athletes don't go very far is because they need more exposure to compete. Well, uh, the Nigerian players are lacking uh, international experience, uh, professional tournaments, you know, that they are playing. I don't know how many, but I know that you in Nigeria have only two professional tournaments a year, and that's, you know, that's definitely not enough. So uh, they are all lacking, you know, experience, you know, of playing in pro on professional level. I saw some uh, potential, I uh, saw a few guys who are having talent, you know, but they just need, uh, you know, to play a lot of, lot of matches, you know, get experience and. Uh, and that way they will, you know, they will uh, improve much more. All right, thank you very the drought continued in the women's finals as unseeded Italian Gioia Barbieri emerged the winner after Russian second seed Nina Bracikova pulled out with injury. However, tournament director Wale Olajun Joye said that in spite of the development, the tournament which was organized to discover emerging stars had also impacted on the local players. It does, because they've been able to bond with the foreign players, they've interacted with them, they played against them, they picked a few things. What we have now is not what we had a few years back. The aim and objective of the tournament is to attract emerging stars to Lagos, the third emerging mega city of the world. And that's the, what we are being able to accomplish. One thing that cannot be disputed is that tennis and sports in Nigeria hasn't had it so good as the Lagos state government continues its sports drive by garnering support from the private sector and hosting one sporting event after the other. Henry Williams reporting for Love World News, Lagos.